Welcome everyone, my name is Michael and today we have a new pour style for you guys. Um, we are calling it the hourglass pour. Now I know what you're thinking, it's very obvious, shaped like an hourglass. Well, we're calling it hourglass pour more because of the technical reason and I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? I have two cups deconstructed here for you guys. The bottom if you can see has a larger hole cut out and the top cup has the smaller hole cut out okay the reason that is you put it together like an hourglass the sands drip down slower okay not just pour down so they drip down slower and that's what we want we want the paint up here drip down slower fill this up into a flip cup now this when we pull up this becomes a funnel pour okay let's get into this you know what we do we will go through the paints as we layer them um let's clean up real fast bring you through my cleanup ritual i know you guys love that part let's just do the sticks right now all right real fast here we go real fast boom in and in in and we have it, and we have a titanium white over here that we're gonna throw in here too. So let's throw that in there. Okay, and we do have a little fl oop, flow extender, flow extender going. And we just lost the cups. We're gonna have to go get those. You can hang out for a second. I'll talk to you guys while we run and grab those. All right, you still with me? Here we go, here we go. Okay, we got them, we got them, okay. Okay, see? So the big one on the bottom. On top. Make sure we got the right ones. This way. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Let's... Whew. Okay. Let's move these over. And then let's get pouring, guys. I can't wait to just get going with this. It's going to be great. Kind of excited. Sorry for the little blooper there. But those are always fun. Let's center it on this canvas. This is a 16 by 20, just in case anybody needs to know. Let's center that up. We got that going there. Um, we're gonna go through the colors once at least. Then you know me, I like to go to a little bit of music because layering takes time, you know that. And as always, we're starting with just a little bit of titanium white. I'm gonna try to have the words here, so let's keep my hands away from here. So a little bit of titanium white. Ready guys? See, that goes right in the hole. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, so titanium white down there. All right, now let's come on with a little light blue permanent. All right, down there at the bottom, very nice. Now, this right here is a pearlized cerulean blue. Put it in there. And we're not layering this like a straight cup, more like a dirty pour, you'll see. All right, now we wanna go in with our phthalo blue. All right, and that's in there. And we're gonna come in with our brilliant yellow. I figure we're gonna go through the colors once. And that's gonna spread out anyway. And then, then we'll really get into the technical layering. And we're gonna go with a this is a cadmium yellow hue, right in there. Ooh, that actually dripped in hard. I do wanna go in with, this is a metallic aquamarine. All right, we're going in there, a little bit there, good. And finish this off, this run before the music with a brilliant yellow green. Okay, now, a little on the canvas and i'm gonna tell you right now we'll go to a little bit of music this will fill up it's gonna be exciting all right guys i will see you guys on the other side here we go
All right, guys, we're back. And you see, you have to put a lot of pressure on here because it just wants to come out. Um, let's lift up and see what happens. It's pretty much coming out. Oh boy. Now let's see what happens when we just do a nice slow drip in the middle. See, that middle is looking really cool. All right. All right, well, I'm just gonna let these drips happen, okay? Let the drips happen. We're gonna do a little patience here. Let that center develop. See, see the hole right here? All right. So that was pretty much very nice test number one. Now we know we need a lot of pressure on that bottom cup to start. We cannot let that come out because it's just gonna act like an open cup. So that is very interesting. I cannot wait to get to the middle of this. Let's let's move this whole thing over right now. Boom. It's gone. Let's put it up top there. It's gonna stay there. It's gonna make a mess. This is a big mess here. Let's light this light this baby up. Alright, All right, so what have we learned so far? So we need to. We need to make sure that bottom cup can stay down. Because we actually don't want this to pour out like that, so. All right, this is start, guys. This is nice. All right, so. I'm gonna move this to the middle a little, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this flow extender here. I wanna get that middle section. So we're gonna, we'll kinda spiral, we'll, we'll do this like a circle we need to tilt in the end. So let's start winding it up now a little bit. I want to see what we can do with that, that middle. All right, there we go. Get you back in frame, guys. Throw a little extender on here. There we go. Come up right against it, okay? I don't even mind going in it a little. Come right up against it. Let's slow this movement the best we can. I do love these cells. Now there's no silicone in this, guys. You, we didn't need silicone for this type of pour because what's happening is with that, the paint coming down like that, it's just so much action going on that's gonna cause cells. It's just a lot of action. Okay. Let's torch again just to torch the white. Alright, there we go. Oh, later on you see we could we could come in here and drag through here. That would be nice. But let's see what happens now. Alright guys. Whew, here we go. You're coming down. Oh sorry guys. I was very, very, very I was extremely focused there. I did not even get to talk to you during that first one. Yep, I don't know why I picked that corner. I just did. Just looked right. I love, I am loving these cells. Look at these cells, guys. Whew, man. Ugh. If this poor style could yield cells like that every single time, I mean, I'll, we'll perfect this then because that's worth it. Those cells are amazing. They're gonna get stretched out though. And they're amazing too because no silicone. No silicone and no Liquitex pouring medium in there. Just the normal... Um, just our normal pouring medium of flow draw and water. So that's great. The action alone creates these cells. It's great. All right, we're going to tilt off the top there because we're going to start stretching this design out. We don't know what this design is going to do. I guess we want to come all the way down, <clears throat> come all the way down to the bottom. I want to stretch out that center because I want to see what that top cup is really going to do design wise. Okay. We see what the bottom cup does. The bottom cup makes a beautiful open cup situation with these cells. Woo, man. Those cells are just so great. To the point where we wanna come down first and then restretch them back up so we can keep some. So let's come back down again. Let's go a little hard, see if we can grab some cells, maybe ourselves coming off that white a little. And you can see that the top cup makes a ginormous mess. 
All right. But the bottom makes that amazing. Here, makes these amazing cells. So I wonder what the trade-off is here. All right, let's, we're gonna tilt off this last corner, then we're gonna check out this composition and see what we wanna do. I do, I do uh, believe me, I do like the fact that that middle is just insanely wild. But, you know, this is a big canvas too. 16 by 20 is a nice size. And uh, yeah, with the pearlized in there, ooh, that is nice. So that, that, that the metallic aquamarine and the pearlized cerulean blue really make some nice stuff going on. This just, just, you might not see it, it is shiny. Look how shiny this is, guys. Very shiny. And we're dragging these cells back. I do like this bottom section. I like the whole composition, it's different. There's some cells here, there's a lot of waves. There's still a lot of action going on up top, coming into the middle. So let's take advantage of that while we can. And I think, I think, really, if you drag through the middle, I think that would change this whole situation and really it will just add to it. But it's almost like the paint is telling the tale of having to go through the other paint. It's nice. Okay. Let's, uh, let's bring this composition down. I, I think... I would like to keep this as my first composition, just to see what we can work with. And you guys can see how my mind is working here. I do see things I like, so we're going to build off this. I think we have a good idea going on, guys. Let me know. I think it's really securing that bottom cup is going to make a big difference. But uh, I see some very nice cell action happening. That middle is going to turn into something special. I think it's just the way I layered. So we will layer that top better next time and watch those drips. I guess the, we might not want the side drips as much. We want more of a central drip. Okay guys, um, we will see you guys later. Bye.